Hey everybody, Nick Hamilton here, back here at Paramount Studios for day two of Pac-12 Media Day, where I had the opportunity to speak with UCLA head football coach Jim Mora, along with Heisman hopeful quarterback Brett Hundley and middle linebacker Eric Kendricks. I also had the opportunity to speak with Chris Peterson about his arrival coming from Boise State. Uh, I think it's a week-to-week proposition. Uh, you like balance. But balance doesn't always mean that it's 50-50. You know what I mean? Balance means that if you have to throw the ball to win the game, you can throw it to win. If you have to run it to win, you can run it to win. You know, I want to be that type of team where uh, we're not one-dimensional. I think that our offensive line, you know, we started three true freshmen last year, very young. Uh, we had a freshman All-American at Simon Point this night, and they started so we finally got some depth there. If we can stay healthy, I think it's, that we should be able to run the ball effectively. I think Brett uh, developing as a passer and the receiving core we've got should help us run the ball. Uh, and then, you know, Brett, you know, I like when Brett takes off. I, I count those as runs. <laughs> those go in the run yardage. So, but I'd like to be able to, you know, my personality is I'd like to be able to just put it down. And we're getting a little bit closer to where we can. Um, we just worry about ourselves, to be honest. Uh, you know, all the, all, the, all the outside expectations will, will be there, but uh, at the end of the day, we're going to take one week at a time and just, just have fun doing it and enjoy the moment. You talk about putting freshmen under your wing. You got a, a speedy freshman, Jaleel Wadu. Yeah. How do you go about doing that without kind of just being overbearing but still being that leader and that kind of friend type I think, atmosphere? I think you still just have to sort of, you have to allow them to, to sort of be themselves still and, and, and just still be, you know, as, as me, you know, I'm not a father figure or anything like that. I'm just, just a good, you know, uh, captain just looking out for them. And, and I think since being there, you can help them, get, guide them uh, to get through the rough patches and all that stuff. You know, I've been there, I've done that. So as I've had Jonathan help me, you know, I can help the next, next young man coming in. Yeah, you know, you know, we just play for uh, you know, there's not a scientific fact, you know, that we have, you know, that, that is going to make us beat or help us beat Stanford, but uh, we just got to come and play football, and that's really what we're going to do. We're going to enjoy each, each and every week this this, this year and uh, just have fun doing it. I, you know, uh, just, just uh, I guess, to fly around and, and to have fun. I think at the end of the day, too many people get caught up in, in the X's and, X and the O's, and, and you really just have to love the game and play football. You know, that's what we came here to do, that's what we were born to do. And uh, as long as we do that, everything will take care of So, I mean, you know, it's, it's out there, the national championship. That's, I mean, every team's goal here, but uh, we're going to take one week at a time. We're going to have fun doing it. And like I said, we're going to enjoy each one that we have. And, uh, you know, when that gets here, hopefully we'll play in the, uh, in the Cowboys Stadium twice this year. Especially growing up a kid, you know, that loved the Bruins. So it's, it's huge for myself. Uh, and I feel like the rivalry is just... It's just what college football is all about, and the city's divided. And I mean, we're not going to focus too much about SC because we have other games to play. But when it comes time for that, we'll be ready. Uh, first and foremost, it was his character. You know, as a person, I mean, he's just an amazing kid. Uh, and then, second, his ability. You know, he can play on both sides of the ball. He's dynamic as a playmaker on offense. Uh, he's fearless as a defensive back. You know, he played safety. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he'll throw his body in there. I think he's very, very smart. I think he's serious about being a great person, player, student. Um, you know, he's just the kind of person that we want at our school. You know, um, I love his dad. You know, I think his dad has done an amazing job of raising him. Uh, really good man. He just comes from the, the kind of background that, that I think is going to enhance our program. Speaking of incoming freshmen, now that you've been around. So, uh, Troy uh, did a great job in the spring. Um, you know, we only had two quarterbacks in spring with Troy and Jeff Lindquist, and so they got a bazillion reps. I mean, they threw every drill, every team rep. That's all we had. Except for me, I had to throw a few, and that was not good. So, But he's making good progress, and I'm anxious to see you know, what he does when we start fall camp. Can you talk about the impact of uh, Nigel Hale coming in on the defensive end? Yeah, so we, you know, we need some help in our secondary without question. We lost three out of four uh, starters, and so there's going to be some young guys that are going to have to get in the mix and play. And uh, you know, I'm anxious. The, the best thing about media days is is when it's over and we get to get back to get started with our guys and guys like Nigel to watch them see what they can do football wise. And so I'm excited to watch Nigel and all those guys out there and see what they can do. What intrigued you about him, his talent and what he can bring to this team this year? Well, I think he's a good player. He comes from a great program. 
Uh, you know, he's played at a really high level of football, made plays against good receivers. And, uh, you know, I think when we were at Boise, uh, I think our defensive back coach, was, he was one of the first guys to, to even offer Nigel. I mean, he really liked it from the start. And there you have it here from Paramount Studios for day two, final wrap up of Pac-12 Media Day. It's going to be an exciting season for both programs, UCLA and Washington, along with the Pac-12 South and the Pac-12 North. Stay tuned all season long right here for all your Pac-12 coverage. I'm Nick Hamilton reporting.